Hello dear friends, my name is Jitender Bafna. I am a senior MuleSoft architect. In this video, we will going to see uh, enterprise integration pattern scatter gather with MuleSoft. So basically, we will see how we can implement a scatter gather or multicasting with the MuleSoft. So scatter gather is a enterprise integration pattern. Uh, like which means like sending the message to multiple routes and aggregate the response from each route into the single response and send back to the client so this is known as a scatter gather okay so muleswap provided the scatter gather router to implement enterprise enterprise integration pattern scatter gather okay so even sometimes this is also known as multicasting so basically we are sending the message to the multiple destination at the same time in scatter gather all the routes will run in the parallel so they doesn't execute sequentially they has to be executed in parallel basically i will show you that so what we are trying to implement i have a two file so one at this folder and other has a this folder this is csv file which can each file contain a two record having name and age okay so i want to read a file from both the location and i want to aggregate the data and send the response back to the client so for that i can use a scatter together so i have a http listener i have already configured the http listener now i can drag and drop a scatter gather component into my mule flow so for reading the file from some particular location we use file read operation so file connector provide a operation known as a read operation so i can drag and drop a read operation so once you see the black line just drag and drop so i want to read this particular file you know uh, from folder 1 copy this file location and configuring a file path so my file name is 1.csv instead of 1 slash in windows i generally use 2 slashes that's it now i can use a logger so what i have to print i have to print a payload secondly i want to read a file from some other location also so I will drag and drop and this will be my other route okay so once you see the black line just drop it now this time I will copy the path a same path then I will change it so I can make this as a 2 and this is 2.csv here again I will drag and drop a logger just I can say payload now what it will do it will automatically aggregate a response from both the routes then what I can use I can use a transform message outside my scatter gather and I can convert the uh, output into JSON format and I can say payload now I want to deploy my application I will just save it I I think my application is already running it should redeploy it yeah it's building it you can see it here it's building the application and it will redeploy it my application has been successfully deployed now I can send a request so I got the response and if you see this is response from my route first route and this is response from my second route so it's scatter together automatically aggregate both the responses but the problem is that we can see few other properties so these are the properties uh, related to or like uh, this is all property related to connectors like you know uh, these are all attributes and here is our payload I just want 
a payload i don't want all this data so what happened so we have a attribute called payload under payload we have a attribute called payload so how we can do that and go to transform message so you can simply say payload dot dot payload that's it now save your application it should redeploy the application once my application is redeployed then we will see and we will try to test it so i'm waiting for my application to redeploy okay now send the request you got the proper response right but now the problem is that like each response like from each route is in individual array but i want a single array and all the object within that particular array so what can i do so i can use a flatten operator okay which remove the arrays of array basically so i can say flatten that's it now save everything Okay, let's send the request. Now you can see every all the object within the single array, right? So that is how you can make use of scatter gather. Now I want to use scatter gather as a multicasting, you know. So I want to multicast a message to multiple sources or multiple destination. So basically, uh, whatever message I am receiving uh, via HTTP listener. i have to write to the file location and even i have to send it to some http client so for that i require one http client uh, so i will create one http client http listener i have just drag and drop i will quickly configure it so let's test one now i can i just want i will just log it uh, just for testing purpose you can perform any operation you want to payload okay so now i can remove all this component i don't want it okay and in transform message i can keep you know only payload now the first thing i want to write to some file location so i will use file write operation and where you want to write i want to write to this particular location so i can configure a path and what the file name one dot json i will use double slash in the next thing also i want to send this request to this particular http listener so i can use http requester drag and drop see wait like once you get the black line so you can just drag and drop okay here you can use a post operation because you will post some data and your url will be http local host Eighty eighty one slash test one. Okay, so this is my HTTP listener. Now you save everything. It should redeploy a application. So it's building.
okay the application has been deployed now I will use a post method I can use raw yeah so what I'm doing I will send this particular payload and send the request so I got successful response which is good you know so now what I can do you can see a one dot JSON has been created at 436 at 436 so you can check the payload yeah everything is good now it also has to send the request to this HTTP listener it has done that and it has able to log the response also so here what is happening the scatter gather will multicast the message to both the route in parallel it will never execute in sequence basically now what will happen one of the route is you know uh, uh, one of the route get failure so let's see what I will do I will put some wrong endpoint which is not available so here I put test to let me delete this particular file yes okay so this particular requester has been point to rare wrong endpoint in me in this case this route should fail and what response we will get let's see so I have saving my application once application is deployed we will test it okay let test send a request here it will say the first route have some error so so be, so this is zero route this is first route so it will throw the error let's see what have we so it will execute all the routes successfully but it will throw the error for like you know for the route which we are getting if we ever like 10 routes two routes get failed so it will say first and tenth uh, second route got failed okay let me tell you show you one more thing so it will execute all the routes so whatever routes got failed for that it will throw the error back to you so let me put one more route so that is just a logger after this and let me put one HTTP requester more here again I will configure a wrong URL and I will say post and I can say HTTP local host 8086 this port doesn't this particular URL doesn't exist or I can put 8081 also but that this particular test endpoint doesn't found so now we have a four route let's see what happens so I'm waiting for my application to get deployed once application will deployed we will test it in this case what will happen the routes second and the fourth will failed basically and first and second route will get successful okay application deployed let me maximize this let me send the request so you can see first and third route was filled it's basically it's a second route and this is fourth route so it uh, basically right if you see let's start with the uh, zeroth route so for zeroth route it should write a file so at 440 it written one file that is successful route for second route it got failed so you can see the first uh, that route at the first you uh, know it's, it's basically second route which got failed the, this particular URL not found then the third route it's logger so I can see it, it has logged the message successfully and fourth route is again failed and you can see it and response here it mentioned three because it, it considered this as a zero route this is a first route this is a second route this is a third route right so that is how uh, you can use a scatter gather for like uh, sending the request to multiple routes at the same time or multicasting the request and aggregate all the responses from each route and send back to the client I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching it. If you like the video, please click on like and subscribe button.